Zealand. This week's update is about mortgagee sales in Gisborne. Well, there's only been a very small number of mortgagee sales in Gisborne. In fact, there's only been like five or six in the past six months. Some of those have been investors who've been hit by uh, the management company not being able to return a return on their investment. And so it's put them under a bit of strain. There have also been a few homes that have come up for sale uh, recently, but not what I would call quality homes. These properties have been in very uh, poor condition uh, and of interest is that the lender in these cases of, of, have been about 80% from one lender. So it may have been some uh, overzealous uh, lending at the time which has caused these properties to come onto the market. The condition is, as I mentioned, that these properties are generally been pretty poor, making them very unattractive to buyers. We're not seeing buyers lining up in the droves to buy these mortgage sales. In fact, uh, buyers tend to be a little bit standoffish. What's the future like as far as mortgage sales in Gisborne is concerned? Well, as long as interest rates remain low, uh, that should take the pressure off, off borrowers uh, from feeling the pressure and the need to have to sell. Nationally, we're seeing a decrease in the number of mortgagee sales and we would expect Gisborne to follow suit as well. I think most owners and most property investors have adjusted to this, these economic times and uh, hopefully with the worst of this recession over, we can move forward without those forced sales. Nobody likes those, not the owners, not the neighbours, uh, not even the buyers it seems at the moment. I'm Neil Walker from Walker Real Estate here in Gisborne. Thanks for watching this week's update.